Good morning, hot dogs, and today is our second day on the desk, and you will be seeing our lovely faces a lot more. I'm your host, Ayla. And I am Litzy. Thanks for tuning in to September 9th for your hot dog announcements. Suicide Prevention Week, Hispanic Heritage Month, sports, and much more. All on today's news, now for today's pledge with me. Oh boy. Please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hot Dog Network is proud to join forces with Student Services this week to help spread the word about suicide prevention. We can, per we all, we can all prevent suicide. Understanding the issues concerning suicide and mental health is an important way to take part in suicide prevention, help others in crisis, and change the conversation around suicide. Today, we want everyone to know there is always hope. We can, help provi we can provide help by understanding suicide is not inevitable for anyone. S by starting the conversation, providing support, and directing help to those who need it, we can prevent suicide and save lives. National Suicide Prevention Lifeline provides 24-7 free and confidential support for people in distress. Prevention and crisis resources for you or your loved ones. All you have to do is call 1-800-273-8255. Make sure to check yesterday's chatter and learn a little bit about resilience. Now for now to now to sports for, from from this past week with the with the one and only Elijah. Thanks, Ayla. I'm Elijah. Karina Alanis lowered her third best time in school history with a 20 minute and one second and sixth place finish. Angel Perez led the boys with a 17 minute and 57 second and 17th place finish. The girls team placed 13th and the boys team placed 6th. The boys also beat Crawfordsville in their second meeting, which now means they posted one or more wins against every team in the Sagamore Conference except Lebanon. Our football team came up short this week against Tri-West. The defense struggled to slow down their incredibly tall wide receivers offensively struggled to handle their team speed. Overall, the team played hard and battled for all four quarters. The coaching staff is incredibly proud of the way our players conducted themselves and the way they competed. Gabe Chavez led the defense with 16 tackles, which moved him into six of the nation in tackles. Riley Goodnight added 165 yards rushing and two touchdowns to move him into 39th in the nation in rushing yards and 17th in the nation and touchdowns. The hot dogs take on Southmont this Friday at home for senior night has been included in the Indianapolis Colts top 12 matchups for this week. Round one will continue until Tuesday at 10 p.m. Please go to the hot dog athletic page to find the link to vote and the complete story. This week we are covering the three hot dog athletic events. Tuesday girls soccer, boys soccer on Thursday, a Friday's football game against Southmont. If you can't get out to the games, make sure to support by watching online. Now back to your hosts. Thanks, Elijah. Ivy Tech is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month by recognizing and celebrating the contributions of Americans tracing their roots to Spain, Mexico, Central American, South American, and the Spanish-speaking nations of the Caribbean have m made to make American society and culture. Now back to Elijah with your current sports coverage. Obviously, my earlier story was from yesterday. Last night, the ladies soccer team was back in action hosting Southmont. They had a rough first half being down 3-1 to one at halftime. But in second half, Melly Alani scored four minutes in and Liz Sandoval hit a penalty kick to tie the game to send it into overtime. The dogs sent the Mounties walking, literally. Winning the game 4-3, the girls moved to 6-2 on the season. The boys' JV soccer team traveled to Lebanon. Freshman Ian Cruz would score for the Hot Dogs about midway through the first half, making the halftime score 4-1. The boys' varsity soccer team faced Lebanon under the lights following Junior Yobani Trinado scored with 10 and a half minutes to play to deny the Tiger shutout. The Dogs are now 5-3 on season. The JV volleyball team got a 
2-0 win last night. Emily Hurley's led in kills with six, and Amber Halchin added five kills for the team. Kylie Field had five aces, Jazzy Oplett had two kills and five aces, and Jennifer Hernandez Gomez picked up two digs. Alexis Kaufman had a dig, Emma Pillion had three kills and three aces, and Erica Pillion had seven digs and two aces. The varsity volleyball team also won last night. Leading kills was Allie Timmons with 11, while Macy Starrett and Lindsay Gate each added 9. Lindsay also had 34 assists, and Bella Colby had 8 kills. Tara Martinez had a solid all-around performance with 7 kills and 20 digs, while Morgan Adamson also had 20 digs and 6 kills. Sydney Winnaker had 5 aces on the night, and Mercedes Tonys had a 9-point service run in Game 4, to move a close start to a comfortable finish. The Lady Hot Dogs took on Tipton and Rossville last night. Sydney Caesar led the way with a 39, Emily Shipley shy 47, Raylan Mitchell finished with a 50. Senior night for the Lady Hot Dogs golfers is tonight. Good luck girls. That's it for sports. Now back to your host. Attention NHS members, today is the last day to nominate senior members for the Leadership Cabinet. Email Mrs. Carter your nomination by midnight tonight. Today's trivia question is, what was the original name of Halloween? I hope, I wonder if anyone will get this right. For lunch today, is country fried steak or salad. Happy birthday goes out to Stephanie Aguilar Espinoza, Adam Haynes, Jose Lopez Alaniz, and Sonia Ranscon Gonzalez. Thanks for watching, hot dogs. Make sure to follow our channel and click the bell for notifications. We leave you with footage from Friday's farewell parade from performer Hot Dog One Superintendent Don DeWeese. <laughs>